I'm like, oh my God, I crap my pants. <laughs> and my wife's like, it's okay. Oh, she's so, uh, she is so nice. It's okay. Uh, somebody hit us up. I know a lot of people are tired of hearing about it, but they had a thought on uh, Dave Grohl hmm. and that whole situation where, you know, he had a uh, an affair. A baby. Yeah. Uh-huh. Outside of his marriage, and that resulted in a baby. Uh, 724 saying, I've been listening a lot to the Dave Grohl situation. I feel that before everyone passes judgment on him and revokes his nice guy status, I think looking at the bigger picture is warranted. Just saying he lost his absolute best friend and then his mother. He had to decide whether to change, continue with his band that's been his whole life. I've seen a lot of their recent concerts, and to me, he's been more frenzied. Okay. Mm. Maybe this is someone who's been dealing with a lot and really not handling it well. Even celebrities can free fall into stupidity. One mistake shouldn't erase a lifetime of being a really nice guy. And you can't disagree. Banging chicks helps you get over all that. It is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And, we're yeah. Also, we're, and we're also, there's a lot of supposition in there. One mistake that's not an ongoing thing. Also, this is how he lost his first wife, was cheating on her. Oh, is that right? So this is not one mistake. Oh, this is not two one, mistakes. That goes along with my whole theory. That once a cheater, always a cheater. Exactly. Well, and like, I know this makes it harder to Sammy. Here, here, there, well. There's the Sammy. Well. 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 Well, I mean, well. depending on if they work on themselves to figure out why they did it to begin with or what happened or what the causes were. And I do think that this person is correct where you can typically see the trauma surrounding the person who ends up cheating. And it does have to do <laughs> with them and everyone gets all upset and up in arms of going like in the relationship of maybe the wife going like how could you do this to me but he's not he's self-sabotaging his own life he's doing it to himself but also to her uh-huh. and the reason like you're putting your spouse through that right. I mean, she's and having a baby with some other person. how about it might but not sometimes... be that deep how about i'm just mega famous and have access to true all the Tang, I yeah, want. And the, want. the reason <laughs> is horniness. What did we just yeah. hear? We just heard all kinds of therapy talk coming out of right over Little Miss thing over here. And this is what we were talking about recently. Doesn't mean it's wrong. Like, right. Uh, I think it's an excuse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I mean, look, somebody, uh, one of my friends was making that same kind of argument about like, Oh, well, you know, Taylor died and then his mom died. It's like, oh, okay, well. So you have uh, to have sex with this. Yeah, stranger. next time yeah. I mess up, I'm just going to try to find a couple things that are going bad for me. And I'm yeah. just going to let my wife know, well. I got to take well, refuge you know. in between no. somebody's I'll legs. The, I'll, break out, I'll, I'll break out the Sammy. Well. It's yeah. a person who doesn't know how to well, appropriate, appropriately react to a situation. Uh, you know not to put your weenie in some right. other person. Yes, you do know that. But it, it doesn't mean that you can still keep yourself from doing it. Like yes, I said, it does. Self-sabotage. It's, uh, if it's, it's a compulsion. Right. A compulsion. I mean, it's... it's oh, if he's, I got to do it. I'm saying. Is he, no, is oh, he a God. sex addict? I don't know. <laughs> is that his thing? Okay, I've always wondered. Okay, so people <laughs> that, uh, you know, have these scandals or whatever, and yeah. they check themselves into rehab. rehab for sex addiction. First mm-hmm. of all... How does that work? Isn't every person it, in a way, like... Every everybody dude loves has it. sex addiction. Yeah, like every dude would have sex addiction. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> South Park covered this in 2010 with Tiger Woods and right. David Duchovny. Right, so yeah. here's a question. When you go... and Does anybody know the answer is what what do you talk about like what do you do when you're in rehab for sex, for sex addiction, addiction? yeah and what is like, that do they like shock your ween <laughs> yeah is that like yeah. uh one of these like yeah. you know places in malibu on the beach <sighs> yeah you know Sign me or up. it's just a bunch mm-hmm. of like relaxation and massage uh-huh. not too much massage <laughs> that doesn't help the addiction. Yeah, yeah Deshaun Watson can go there. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah why, are we, why, massage. why are we blaming Sean Watson and the dozens of women he assaulted? Mm-hmm. It's his. It's a condition. And he just doesn't know how to. Yeah. Act. That's not. It's yeah, not right. an excuse. Dog it's dying. just. It's, it's well, not. It clarifies. <laughs> it clarifies the picture. Like, oh, this is what he does right. when he freaks but out. But it's the same as anyone who's going to be a drug addict or an alcoholic, where that's what they use to escape or to feel better about themselves in the moment or whatever it may be. Yeah. It's they not a good thing. sex to escape and it doesn't matter who it is because that's their choice of drug, essentially. Choice, yeah. and, exactly. Uh, Dave Grohl's wife is free to handle this however she like and I will not judge one way or the other. Although I do think it's, I mean, I guess I would judge a little bit. I think it's weird when people stick around yeah. a relationship where they've been cheated on. I don't care what, I don't care what it would be. Or what the excuse would be, or the backstory, or the what? I just, if my wife cheated on me and I found out, like that would just be it. That'd be well, 
Well, no, I'm not I, saying well. I've never said you have to stay with this person. No, I'm just saying I would, I would, that's... I would not be able to. Would you be able to move past that? Mm, it would be I don't so think you hard. would. It would also, be so hard. ego wise, I think it would depend on if it was a public or private situation. Everybody knows, and that's hard no. to stick around. Even for. if nobody else knew oh. besides me, oh, my wife, and the other person involved. No, well, I couldn't do it. Yeah, because yeah. the trust has been broken, and it's hard to get past that at that point. And I this agree situation's with that. way harder because the baby's involved now. Yeah, yeah. So, and he's true. You know, going to be a parent to this baby. True, in some way, shape, Whoopsie or form. Days. Eighteen yeah. years. So we'll see what happens there. Anybody got any other confessions they want to just get off their chest now? <laughs> <laughs> we can all free yeah. ourselves, you know. I mean, I have a confession that I I don't know if you guys will. Wait, what's that, Gina? I've got another confession to make. You do. Mm. I do. And this is really just personal for me. I don't know that it's going to, you know, shock any of you. I am a diehard, and I mean, way before it was like ironic and cool and she had a resurgence, whatever, whatever. Way back in the day, diehard Dolly Parton fan. All the songs. I wrote papers about her in college. Huge. You did? Uh, huge. I wrote f- I wrote papers in a women's studies class about how she's the ultimate feminist icon, which I got so much pushback for. Huge fan. Oh, because of her boobs? Sure. That being said, I am so burnt out over the merchandising, the cake mixes and the skillets and the the wine and the the Uh. makeup and the perfume. I get it. All the delicious goods. She's trying to get like, get hers, you know, in her twilight years. But I am so done with all of this merch. I'm so sick of looking at it. Well, I don't know if it's her. It's probably somebody behind it. Well, she's Uh, she's the master of her. Yeah, they're they're, they're twisting her arm. What are they doing? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that, but I will take all the baked goods because they're awesome and delicious. Have you smelled the perfume? <laughs> I have not, <laughs> not great. tried that yet. I, I can't haven't. imagine it would. <laughs> I get like what Gina's people. saying. But I yeah. love her. I'm just kind of over this element. Yeah. Well, of her we go Never. through this every once yeah, in a while. You know, we did it with Betty, Betty White. White. Yeah. With Patrick Harris. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah but it. Dolly Parton deserves to be celebrated. She uh, does. 100%. I'm saying the the merchandising push right now is is too much, and I'm not. I don't. I'm, I'm not into it. And I love her. I love everything she does. I don't love this. See, I'm tired of it. I really wouldn't uh, classify that as a confession. Now, what I have for you, this is a... I've got another confession to make. Yeah. So what I have is something that I have never done in my adult life that I did for the very first time. All right. That is a confession. That's true. That I will make after the break. (gasps) Oh! Oh, That's a tease. Well, the question, do you have a confession? Phones are open, 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. Send us a text with your confession over to 22987. You don't have to uh, tell us your name or anything. You can be anonymous if you'd like. And uh, I'll go ahead and just uh, do mine first. All right. I told you I have a confession, and it's uh, something I've never done in my adult life, meaning from, and I will say, this hasn't happened since... uh, child like maybe like a really small child oh, the boy. guys you jumped on a j- trampoline did you yeah. cry no i don't know. I've got another confession to make i for the first time in my adult life crapped my pants <gasps> oh wow yeah. join the team Is it what the, uh, yeah the diet drugs no it no. happened when i hurt myself and i fell <laughs> Oh, uh, in Mexico? In, in uh, Mexico. Wow. And like, so I thought I had broke my hand and my foot at the time. <laughs> Dude, I was in so much pain, right? And you know, like sometimes yeah. when you hurt yourself or you get that big shot of adrenaline, uh-huh. all of a sudden yeah. you feel nauseous, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. So I can feel my guts churning or whatever. But I felt like I was more going to puke than anything else. But I'm like, I'm like on, like in a fetal position yeah. on the couch and I'm like trying to ice and whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh man, I'm just trying not to barf. Don't barf, don't yeah. barf. But then I felt like what I thought was a fart. And that's how it yeah. always happens, right? Yeah. Yeah. When, and now here's the thing. I never, I never trust those, which yeah. is how I've never once in my adult life to this point had crapped my pants. So normally you go over, over a toilet just, just to make sure. Because when you feel your guts kind of moving, or what, yeah. you could, like for the yeah. most part, you could tell. But you when you're tell. not sure, I never, when I'm, when I'm on, the, on the fence, I never trust. Wow. And I'll just hold it until it's the next time to go to the bathroom. Then we'll see what happens. So it wasn't on impact. It was a few no, minutes no, later. No, no. It was later. It's like when that mm-hmm. adrenaline thing happened and right. you start feeling nauseous and everything. Yeah. It's so funny because you <laughs> told that story in such detail, yet 
Except I didn't hear this part. Because I was waiting for the uh, the right time for the confession, and <laughs> oh, here it is. This is the right time. <laughs> yeah. Duty. Uh -huh. and, and my wife's like, that's okay. I'm like, oh my God, I crapped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife's like, it's okay. Oh, she's so, a, she uh, is so nice. It's okay. So, so right in the garbage, right? <laughs> Well, I saw it was uh, so I, I rinsed. Uh, there were shorts. Oh I, I rinsed God. them, athletic shorts, which is ironic. Wow. I rinsed those out and then I put them in because we were leaving the next morning. So I just put them in like in a Ziploc bag. Oh, you didn't toss them? No, I didn't toss them. What you can you can wash them? They're soiled. Yeah, just uh, wash not them. anymore. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. If that was at home, maybe, but not. I, mean, I, I washed them I'm out. Like the, there was there was no more. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, what, no. in the hot tub where? Mm. Huh? In the sink. <laughs> oh, no. there, there wasn't like oh, it was it was, it was it was all liquid. No, it was oh, all. No, it, okay. yeah. like, how much was there? No, it yeah. was all not a lot because because immediately you know when then something you escapes. I would have yeah. trashed those like, so quick. No, I love those shorts. Those will are good you, shorts. Will you at least do us a favor? <laughs> okay. And if you wear them around us, will you give us a heads up? Yeah, show us. Yeah. yeah. That I mean, these I, are the ones. I, I, I can have, my I crapping, have you smell them. These are my crapping you shorts. You would never know. <laughs> I mean, are they Versace? Yeah, you, like, you can't get more. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's... Uh, wow. That's, I have more well, details here. So you What's told that? your wife she didn't smell it? Oh, no, it happened right this day. Oh, God, I just crapped myself. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and she wasn't like, what? No. What the like, F? It's okay. It's okay, baby. She's very understanding. She's in that sweet. moment, yes. This was this was a shining moment for her. But because I've met your wife several times, has she ever let you live that down? Uh, what? Grab my pants? Yeah, I don't she... think she's brought it up. <gasps> oh, she's wow. got that back pocket. I think you yeah. let that that one go. I yeah. yeah. Look what he did. Look, it's it's Damn. never happened. Yeah. It's never happened before, and people go, "Oh yeah, right." I'm telling you. I'm telling you now that it did happen, but up until that point, it had never happened in my adult life. I'm sure mm. when I was a little kid or something, I did that. Like even yeah. after I was potty trained, something. Wow. But uh, yeah, once you learn, like never trust yeah. a fart. I just never mm. did. And that was just always how I rolled. Wow. Okay, fine. So. Is are these the kind of confessions we're making? Yes. All right. I've got another confession to make. Oh. I got another okay. confession to make. So last year, uh, when I was taking my mom back to the airport, we got like sandwiches or something on the way, and there seemed something hanky about this sandwich, but I ate it because I I wanted it. And later that night, I started to feel very very sick and i started throwing up which is my least favorite thing to do what kind of sandwich was it do you remember like from where i don't want to put it no on no like, like what a, kind like of a, sandwich is it like a like a right. turkey sandwich subway type sandwich but not from subway okay it's so cold cuts yeah and i was throwing up and throwing up and i kept going to my husband you think that was the last one you think that was less like every five minutes oh no <laughs> you think that was the last one and i'm crying <laughs> and it's like two yeah. in the morning and finally, I do one of these like teledocs and they give me something called Zofran, which is something that gets oh. you to stop throwing up. Yeah, yeah. So he has to go get Part it in the middle of the night. But while he's gone and I'm in my pajamas and I'm crying, I run to the bathroom and I throw up with such force <laughs> that I go, oh, oh no. And I also crap my pants. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. And they were my favorite pajama pants. And did oh. you throw them away? I of course I you did. You did? Yeah. And so my husband They're your gets favorite pants? The best. My husband got home and I'm crying. <laughs> and he goes, um, hon, I don't want to make anything worse, but I, I was throwing away the bag that your Zofran came in. And, well, I noticed your pajama. And I go, don't, 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 don't Wait, want so wait, full of, full of duty. Yeah. You didn't even like try to rinse them out or anything. Like just full like, of, and you just put, you didn't take, you didn't like you didn't tie them up and take them right outside. You just left them in the house. No, I put them, I think I put them in like a, like a Rite Aid bag or something, and I just yeah. tossed it in the main in the main kitchen. Oh, and, oh the and, kitchen! But yeah, because I know where Animal. I was freaking out, and my husband gets home, and that's why your wife is nicer than my husband because he brings it up all the time. Yeah, as a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> it was I puked with such force that it just like it was uh, all systems go. Yeah. See, I'm not even embarrassed by it. I'm pretty. I feel like everybody, I mean, everybody's done that. In but it, it, was, it was just it, it was just crazy because it's never happened. And it's only because I was very, very like hyper vigilant about mm. yeah. not letting that happen. Well, it's not like yeah. it happens to me every other week. No, no. There, hey, there are some people that pee a lot. You know, like, oh, I just peed. Right. Like, yeah. when they're How? Laughing. You're an adult. Nah. nah. How do you do <laughs> that? Uh, Greg Gorey. I've got uh. another confession to make. Mine does not involve caca, but it is, <laughs> it's funny and adorable, and your guys' eyes are going to roll so hard. So, you know how Mario and I come up with these dumb expressions like, Hoyt, me love, and yeah. uh, lasers mm -hmm. on the couch, or right. Right. let's let Callie be Chi Chi. We have a new expression, and I love it. It's, it's McDonald's. <laughs> 
It's McDonald's. What so is that? remember that old ad slogan or ad jingle? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving I'm it. I'm loving it. Yeah. So we've been getting all this stuff for our condo, like lamps, tables, and a new couch and whatnot. And then I'll say to Mario, so what do you think of this new table? Do you like it? And he says, I'm loving it. And that morphed into, do you like that new table? It's McDonald's. <laughs> nice. I get it. I, I get love it. it. So it's kind of <laughs> cute. It's cute and it's fun. And then that's hilarious. He'll, he'll text me a photo. Mm-hmm. What do you think of this couch? Oh my God, it's McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a compliment. Yeah, yeah it is. It and means then, you're loving it. Yeah. Right. And then uh, it, you, there's a level of McDonald's too where it's like, oh, is it McDonald's? Uh, I like it. It's not McDonald's yet. Oh, okay. So oh. it can be a. You what know, if, like, what like if McDonald's he like, is uh, the pinnacle? It's if you really like it, but, oh, dude, supersize. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the biggest okay. of Macs. He's writing that down. Yeah. <laughs> I am. It's. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, oh, it's kind of like yeah. Happy Meal. Yeah. yeah. Like real small. Have different yeah. levels. Yeah. Of it sounds it. like the dollar menu. Yeah, yeah it's do- yeah, dollar menu. You yeah. know what? Oh, I like that. You know what Greg has done in Menace is he has. By his own, come up with the phrase, it's Gucci. Yes, he has. Uh, yeah, this is yeah. It's McDonald's. awesome. It's so Gucci. I'm yeah. loving it. What was the, so uh, you had another new expression uh, that you had mentioned. Mom, mom, mom. Oh. I'm loving it's McDonald's, though. Yeah, right? You're so, so dumb. Good. So dumb. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I thought you had another expression. Okay, maybe now that I'm thinking about it, maybe you were. Okay, oh, this you is were going to describe this McDonald's thing, which you didn't get to. It's pretty dumb and pretty gay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but he said he had a new expression. I thought the one of the other expressions, in addition to this McDonald's thing, was it's so dumb and gay. Oh, no, no, no. Saying it's McDonald's yeah, yeah, yeah. is pretty dumb. Yeah, right. And, and it's also pretty gay. <laughs> pretty gay. Because you're talking about <laughs> stuff yeah. like lamps, now, couches. Yeah. Now, okay. <clears throat> you know, accessories. Now I'm getting. Get yep, now I'm getting. Get it, get it. <laughs> now we're getting. This brings up a side question, Greg. Did you get this new condo just so you could furnish it? Kind of. Yeah. For a project. <laughs> oh, that's that's fine. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I'm addicted uh, to, you know, tables. Barbie and stuff. Dreamhouse. Show of hands. Who's got a confession? Uh, nothing. N- Sammy, please. I don't. Menace, nothing. Please. No, I know. I, uh, I, I mean, I guess. Uh, don't I get me con- on, I guess. No, no. Give me I, something really. I want something that you get a little nervous about before you share it. A little nervous gotta be something I good in there. Share it. Yeah, uh, you're involved in too many things. You're running around in too many places. There's gotta yeah, be something. Poop your pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poop my pants. No, I mean, well, there's something that I didn't share. Oh. I got another confession to make. All right. You know how I love dumping garbage around town. Yes. <laughs> um, I recently I got caught <gasps> you dumping did? garbage. Yeah, and I didn't share that with. Is you that guys. a ticket? No, I didn't. No, not by anybody. Like. A th- Authority, uh, authority, but I did. I wasn't highly embarrassed, and I'm probably not gonna <laughs> dump again. Did you go to like an apartment complex? No, or, no. Or like I a store? there was just some like random um, dumpster in the middle of a gigantic parking lot, and it was it was wide open, and I, stuff, and, and I had a bunch of stuff with me. I'm like, oh, I might as well just dump it in this uh, in this uh, trash bin, and then like I'm dumping things in there. I had a lot, and. Uh, <laughs> I start hearing these wheels of a garbage can come in and I'm like, oh crap, there's somebody from a store coming out to this dumpster. And I look back and there's a dude and you could tell by his face he was not happy that I was throwing trash into this dumpster. We paid yeah. for that. Yeah. Well, it's not like Menace doesn't pay for trash service at his house. He I, does. I do. I just but I just you. have so much stuff. Like I'm like Greg, I'm, you know, constantly and that maybe go into another confession confession that oh. uh I'm probably gonna move. Yeah. Like I'm kind of over the place not, you just bought a couple years ago. Yeah. That I'm not, place? I think it's just too much. Like the HOA? No, no, no. I, I'm not going to sell it, but I think I'm going to move out because it's just it's just too much house. Like mm. I was way more comfortable being in a one bedroom apartment. Like I enjoyed that. I hate it when your house mm. is too big, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. It's like I just worst. feel you know like it's, it's too much. I house. just feel like it's <laughs> unnecessary. Yeah. Unnecessary. I liked. I like the. Uh, I even loved being in a studio apartment. I like the freedom of, like, not being a, uh, having to like do yeah, all this crap to it. Yeah. Right. So then, what it's, was the reason for the upgrade? The reason for the upgrade because it was just su- such a good time because the um, 
because the the mortgage rate. rates and interest rates were just so low. It was a like, deal you couldn't pass up. Yeah, it, it just made sense at the time that I would be I would be able to buy something versus renting it. It was yeah. cheaper. At and the so time. we ended up with too much space. Aww. Too much space. Yeah. 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 It's, like, it's like Sammy. She eats whatever yeah. she wants and she can't gain weight. Well, I knew, I wait, wait. Wait. I knew not to share it because it would be turned into a negative. But no, it's not a negative. I'm just I'm saying just, like okay. right. you don't need like that much stuff. You don't. How many square feet is your current home? Oh, uh, don't ask me, dude. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Give I don't know. Sure. Right I'm sure end. Greg does. Yeah, right Greg looks, yeah. up, Greg looks up everybody's address. My house is built upwards too, so there yeah. is three. There's Slurs. three levels. Write there's the address down for Greg. He'll look it yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Square put footage. it. Put it in. The, well, yeah. Why don't you? You got. He Zillow, always tries to look up my house, but he gets so frustrated because it's new. Because you don't. Well, I got frustrated because you didn't know your own address. I thought about. I thought about menace during that presidential debate and yeah. Trump made a comment in the debate yes. where he was talking to, it was like an Al Qaeda guy or like some other, like yeah. this is a bad dude. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he he claims that the guy said to him like why are you sending me a picture of my house <laughs> yeah. and I immediately thought of menace <laughs> because that's my move too because that's his move like when you get like somebody who's trying yeah. to be an anonymous right. troll yeah, like right. on Famous social troll, or whatever, yeah. like menace will find out who they are and send him a picture of their own house yeah, that yeah. Was and, and Trump made that comment he's like because the guy said to Trump well why are you sending me a picture of my house and uh -huh. it's just to let him know that we know yeah. where you are oh I like that yeah and for we'll, sure. We'll bomb you in the <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that is total menace. Did you find yeah. it? Yeah, so if this is accurate, th is it three bedroom, three bathroom? Yeah. 1,688 okay, square feet. Okay, so, but is you said big? it goes up. Yeah, it goes upwards. Uh, so I don't even use like- That's too much that room too, I don't use the two bottom floors that's at all. That's the answer. There's too many stairs. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's too many stairs. That's my confession. Too many stairs. Remember how I said there was too much room? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, my confession is really too many stairs. Menace said he was considering- you know, moving out of his place. I guess you would rent it out. Yeah. yeah. I would rent it out and then probably just get a smaller place. Somebody said if it's too much space, just have kids. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I'm, no, I'm dumb, but not that dumb. Also, Greg, on your um, It's McDonald's thing, mm -hmm. I guess, you know, comedian Pete Holmes. I know that guy, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know him personally. Yeah, it's sort yeah. of, he, not the exact same bit. He, he was doing it more of like a, uh, like if you want to piss people off. Oh. <laughs> like yeah. Greg's doing it like sincerely and cutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So how would you unaware. wait? How would you use it to piss somebody off? Well, he was just saying to make like you want to make an awkward situation. Uh, like let's say we're all standing here. The, the, the example he uses is let's say you're at a party and you're just like, man, I like hanging out with my friends. Uh -huh. I, it's McDonald's. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, okay. Just to be okay. just okay. awkward. To be uh, yeah, but, right. like, yeah, but Greg is oh, sincere. I did not know that. He right. really likes having it. It's it's not, it's not now I need a new expression. No, no, no. It's no, like no, no, two no. people <laughs> thought of yeah. the same <laughs> random yeah. general. It's not the same it's usage. Not the same. It's not the same usage. Uh, 530 says, there is no adrenaline rush when you fall down or injure yourself. I've wiped out many times. There's no adrenaline rush. You get an adrenaline rush when you have to fight or fight scenar fight or flight scenarios. You're just a fat guy that craps his pants. <laughs> oh, okay. Sweet. Nice. Maybe. But whenever I've like seriously injured myself, uh, for whatever reason, that nauseous thing comes yeah. Yeah. That's front common. and center. Yeah. People, you hear that a lot. Or you get in a car wreck. Right. Or you already get the wind like knocked out of you. Next you're, like, you're gonna yeah. puke. Yeah. yeah. But isn't that adrenaline? Uh, I mean, or shock. Sure. Or shock. Mm -hmm. Right? Like Which, it said, some kind of gotta be some kind of like yeah, the, adrenaline dump. Or afterwards That's you feel you the fine. Oh, a dump, then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's an adrenaline, literally an adrenaline dump. What, Greg? Like afterwards you might feel fine, but then maybe the next day you feel like crap. So we're talking confessions. And during the break, Sammy, <laughs> she had a couple confessions. The first one was that she felt bad because we're all sharing these things that are... Yeah. Super embarrassing. Right. Embarrassing, unflattering, or whatever. And yes. when I said, does anybody else have a show of hands? And she, she shook her head, no. <laughs> no, nothing. And, uh, and if you no. notice, I said, oh, please. Because everybody's got something. Of course. Well, I felt bad because... Woody and Gina both told, told their pooping their pants stories, yeah. and I sat here and acted like I didn't have one. <laughs> well, right. You did tell us a story a while back about how you crapped in a trash can, right. yeah. yeah, like in somebody's bathroom. Is there another confession? <laughs> there is another uh, confession. I got another confession to make. <laughs> and does it involve poo? It <laughs> does. Yeah. So this was when I was in college. I've literally, I told one person the story. Nobody knows the story, but- Until I was, now. Right. I, now like nine people will know. Woke <laughs> up, I woke up for work and I was 
feeling like I need to go. Like I went to the bathroom before I left, but I also have never really felt like it was an option to call in sick the day of work. Yeah. So I always feel like I have to go in. It's so early what we do on morning shows and there's not really someone to call. So I went to work. I ended up getting stuck in traffic and I really had to go to the bathroom and I was stopped. <laughs> And I, I was trying the best I could doing the math. to get yeah. off. Yes. And I could not exit. I was stopped on the freeway and I pooped my pants. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Yes, it was bad. And, you, and it you wasn't let it a little happen. bit. It was not like, oh, it was a little bit. It was, I'm sitting in my car and I full on poop my pants. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> like you surrendered to it. And I just had let to. It, there yeah, was nothing else. I was trying to get mm. off and I could not get off the freeway. Now, did you Jeez. sit back down on top of it or? Mm. Yeah, I just like there. a sitting I was already sitting in it. Okay, this is, this I, is my I've worst had that, nightmare. I, I've had that thing where I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Yeah. And yeah. so what can yeah. I do? Is there a place to pull up? And they, you know, sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. But the times that there has not been, I'm thinking, well, um. All right, do I have anything to put down over the seat? Like, I'm going to hover above the seat yeah. because, like, I'll at least keep it contained <laughs> to my pants. Yeah. Oh, so no, I had such a long drive because I was on my way to work, and I lived, like, an hour from work. So uh, I was about the halfway point, <gasps> and so I was far from home so and what did far you do? from work. Yeah, you got to pull a U-turn. Right, so then I had to... So then I have to call in sick now about an hour before I'm supposed to start start my shift. (laughs) And so I called in sick. I went home, right? Obviously dealt with that whole scenario. Got the garden hose. And I did. That's exactly what I did. It was my true religion jeans, you guys. And I wasn't giving them up. So I did keep the pants and I did hose them off. And that night for the show I worked on was the Christmas show. So I didn't want to miss it. So I still, I called in sick that morning and then I went to the Christmas show that night and they were like, you weren't sick. And I was like, I was sick before, but I'm not now. And I just never told anyone. You never told anyone. Wow. Wow. And you told them why they'd believe you. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Kaka. You should take right. pictures of the You pants. should call them now and tell them. All right, let's, go to, uh, one time. <laughs> let's go to Morgan. I've got another confession to make. All right, Morgan, what's your confession? Well, now I feel bad because mine doesn't involve poo. Uh, it doesn't have to. It doesn't I have know. to. It's a shame. But so I went to the DMV a couple months ago to get a new license, driver's yeah. license, and I definitely lied to them about something on my license. Mm. Oh, like let me guess. Like <laughs> no. I mean, everybody I, lies about their weight, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. they do? Yeah, oh, not about that, no. I lied about my height. I added an inch because I thought 5'11 sounded cooler than 5'10. Even mm. higher? <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Huh. I thought like a dude might that do that. Bad? I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that a, yeah, me. That a especially a woman of average. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're you're a tall. Yeah, you're tall. You're yeah. tall for a woman. But just five eleven sounded. I don't know, like better for this <laughs> new <laughs> stage of my life. She's very hung That's up very on hard. height. Oh, wow. obsessed. Yeah. She really is. So yeah, like height is a big factor for a lot of stuff with Morgan. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, not even like for potential romantic partners. Just in general, just but just in, for her own, for her own height. Huh. And when even she thing. dresses up, she puts on heels and is even taller. All right. Yeah. That's what she needs, more yeah. height. Yeah. True. Yeah. But right. yeah, got away with it. Well, it's not like, like here's the thing. Yeah. It's not like they got a scale measure. there. It's not yeah. like they're oh, like really like seeing the, the, how mm. tall you are. That could be a new test every time we, yeah. we renew our licenses. We'll see who can make the biggest lie. Yeah. 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 yeah, seven yeah. one. Seabass. <laughs> uh, I've got another confession to make. Quickly, I pulled. I pulled a Woody. Woody, you're known for going around the, uh, the neighborhood with the cleaning up leaves and yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Well, there's things that I just find annoying and frustrating. And your wife thinks you're weird for making yeah. the, the neighborhood nicer. For being clean. Well, we've had in our uh, underground parking lot, we have little speed bumps that are made out of that kind of that uh, tire, like old tire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you, oh, right. And then you bolt that to the ground. Right. Well, one of those little uh, bumps has been loose for literally months. And it just kicks around. Just here, it's it's over there. It's in this spot. It's over there. No, they're, they're not going to fix it at my apartment complex because they're a bunch of lazy a holes. So over the weekend, Woody, I pulled a U, and I went out to Home Depot, got some construction adhesive. Yes, <laughs> I applaud that. Wow, you like I applaud that. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, Good for you. I, right. I don't that. think it's going to stick because I really do think because what happened is the bolts got sheared off, just, uh. and so there's the bolts are stuck now in the concrete though. So I'll have to like. Get well, down next there, step. Drill, d- drill out those yeah. old bolts, uh-huh. put new oh, ones no. in. <laughs> or just put some bolts in. <laughs> yeah, just drill some new uh, pilot holes for some new bolts. Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. So yeah. that's why I'm a next step. Get a concrete drill bit. And- nice. nice. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> that's good. Nice. Yeah. I will, uh, everybody, thank you for uh, your confessions. That was very brave of everybody. Very yeah. cathartic. I feel unburdened. Uh, more Woody Shows next.